Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Destiny. For those who are new here, please watch the full video and see if you would like to subscribe because it's fun over here. We're very weird, we're very fun, very kind, very cool, you know, all that good stuff. So basically today I'm going to be doing a emergency kit, everything that you need in your emergency kit. This is directed towards females because I am a female, um, but I also feel like males should have this too. And I don't see any males doing these type of videos, but there needs to be some out there because if you do not have one of these and you're a male, step it up because males don't care about their hygiene. They think that taking care of themselves is feminine, like... You stink, get out my face. Thanks. But for real though, like honestly, boys need to be starting to take care of themselves because I be walking around these feeling funky, nasty. But this is for my girls out there because it's important to take care of your feminine hygiene. So, and I also have another video on feminine hygiene, like a girl talk video if you guys want to watch that. I'll put the card on top of the screen so you guys can go check that out after you watch this one. But basically I got this whole thing from um old navy i thought it was like probably a while ago probably two years or three years back um i think this is a decent size as you can if, uh, as you guys can see i have a lot of stuff in here um i would probably not buy a clear case but this is just cute to me so that's why i bought it but i probably wouldn't buy a clear case because you don't want people in your business especially if it's in your bag let's say if like it popped out or something someone took it out you don't want people being nosy but then i feel like also if it's see-through and like let's say like if someone went through your bag they would probably know like oh let's not touch this products in here you know what i mean but i don't know but who's really touching your bag make sure that you're securing your bag period um money wise and also in school because you don't want people touching your stuff but we're gonna get right into it and i got this from like i guess i got this from old navy i don't remember how much it was but it was pretty cheap probably like eight dollars seven dollars ten dollars at the most so yeah we're gonna get started on the top thing first so first we got some hand sanitizer and i got this from dollar tree and this is a coconut and lime scented and you know corona season is still here and i'm going back to school i don't know about y'all let me know in the comments down below if you're going back to school or not but i am going back to school and you know, hand sanitizer is very important. You don't want to get sick and you want to make sure that you're sanitizing your hands. And in general, you just should. Even before Corona, people, I still had this in my um, my bag. Because, you know, people are dirty at school. People like to not wash their hands and do all that nasty stuff. So I got this from Dollar Tree. It smells super good, too. Uh, so, so good. And I feel like this is like a decent size bottle. So I think that's good. The next thing I got was the, I got these, um, I actually got two of these. Oops, sorry. Camera's like moving around. But I got these trolls. Um, these are so cute. Like, I don't know. I never watched the movie, but I just think like the packaging's super cute. This is the only one that they had at Dollar Tree. And most of this stuff is from Dollar Tree, guys. Like I said, shopping on a budget. You do not have to spend and blow like $30 on like feminine hygiene and stuff like that. You can literally spend like probably like ten dollars. You don't gotta be going going overboard fifty dollars max. Like you don't gotta do all that. Twenty dollars at the max for us, okay? So I got these two tissues and they uh, these are two plies and these um these have nine tissues in them so nine plus nine is 18 so there's um 18 tissues in all and also sometimes i like to like rip it in half so i have more i don't know just like to be resourceful the next thing i have is this mascara this is the Great Lash Mascara from Maybelline New York. I love this. It does wonders to your eyelashes. I'm not going to put it on right now because I'm also like, after this video, I'm going to get unready and like, you know, relax. But no need to put some makeup on. But this is lots of lashes. This is super good. Super, like, it like really just defines your lashes. And I like that. So I definitely suggest that you guys get there. Any mascara of your choice. You know, if you're not a makeup gal, you don't got to wear makeup and you don't got to put that in there. But if you do wear makeup and you like mascara, or like any other substitute like concealer or something or highlighter you know put that in there you know to be serving looks all day in school so moving on we have this vaseline i know that the case the the label's off but i have this for a while now and this is just my vaseline just like a small um vaseline and they also have like smaller ones than this which would probably be ideal for this but i don't have that i have this size so i think like definitely like putting vaseline on especially in the cold seasons because you know you want your lips to get chapped and like like all crusty and stuff so this is really good and also just to moisturize your lips before you put lip gloss on or any lipstick like that that's really ideal as well so that's why i got this okay let's see what else we got some deodorants this is the lady speed stick invisible dry and this has no white marks and it has 48 protection and this is just like a powder fresh scent 
and that's like the best thing that you can have because i feel like putting i feel like you should always get a white deodorant anything white i feel like is really good for your body so definitely got that in there you don't want to be stinking smelly um i got some lotion this is the gold bong ultimate skin therapy cream and it has aloe in it and it heals and nourishes dry problem skin so basically it says that it penetrates fast non-greasy hyperallergenic fresh clean scent and this is what it looks like um i have used gold bond in the past and i do like it i like that it's so small i never tried this specific one but i like that it has aloe in it because i feel like aloe is like a really good healing substitute and it just you know gives that body like that smooth nice feel so you know that you cannot go to school without any pads these i forgot what brand this was i always forget when i feel like i'm doing my feminine hygiene videos but this is i think um I'm not, really, I'm not even gonna try to guess because there's like so many different pads but you should always get a plaid oh i just took a deep breath and i hope y'all didn't hear that I just sound like an asthmatic but this has um a lot of um well, what i'm trying to say is get like a pad that's your size you know some people have heavier flows some people have lighter flows so getting a pad that holds all the blood that comes from your body is like better for you don't get anything too little don't get anything too big because i feel like when you wear the big pads sometimes it's uncomfortable for some people but just you know your body the best so just focus on you and think about what you would like to wear and also along with pads i put some panty liners in here because if you're ever having discharge or like you think you're gonna get your period or something i would wear this because you never know better be safe than sorry and then I also have some period underwear. Let me tell you all about period underwear. If you do not have one, you need to put one in your emergency kit ASAP, no Rocky, because let's say if you have your period, it's a nice spring day, it's hot, right? And I don't know where you go to the bathroom and you just have like your, your underwear is soaked. Like you have blood everywhere, like all on your underwear, like you're spawning or something. That's bad. You do not want to walk around with like underwear like that you're first of all you're gonna feel disgusted first of all you may second of all you may stink and i don't think anyone wants to smell bad so you know just making sure you have that extra backup of underwear is really a good thing to just put in here because then you don't gotta walk around feeling like nasty and stuff and then you also don't got because you know like i don't think because like i feel like um schools like yeah they provide like um um what's it called what's it called what's it called um sweatpants or something or pants school pants whatever whatever um whenever like you have an accident or something like that but they don't provide um they, they provide pads but they don't provide underwear for you so you better make, bring your own because they don't do all that at school now so make sure that you have your own and also don't wear like one that's like wet like not wet but like like bathing suit kind of material wear one that is cotton please so your vagina for ew your vagina your vagina can breathe because you do not want it to be like trapping the cell in there you want it to be able to breathe and you know if there was invisible underwear like you didn't even have to wear underwear and you don't even have periods i feel like that would be ideal because like if you wear no underwear that's also good to practice that if you guys do not sleep naked because it really boosts up your confidence but for real just bring some um period underwear because you need to the next thing i got are these allergy um no these are not allergy um pills these are mucinex um cough flu and sore throat got these two and back when it was like flu season i had this because i actually got a cold i never got the flu before but i got a cold and this was also before corona so don't get crazy with me but yeah this was um during like november october or something i got sick so i was just taking those and this is this is actually like really like fast relief we all like it's really really good i would definitely suggest this like i said it is the mucinex maximum strength fast max cold flu and sore throat it is very good and you only take like these like i would take like these two like every like every like two hours i think something like that read the directions because i am not a doctor i do not know please do not take my word by that but that is the name of it so definitely suggest getting that it's really good fast acting the next thing i got are two scrunchies and you know you know put your hair up put your hair down if you wear bobby pins i don't really use bobby pins so that's why i don't have them in here um so yeah you could definitely try to get that if you use bobby pins like according to your hair do what you need um i also got some wax for my braces even though i barely like use this i haven't used wax like in two years because i just don't need it anymore i don't feel like the need to use it so i don't use it but basically like the wax is like um like to like if you have like wires in the back of your mouth and like 
it's like hurting your wires like basically people know like the wires basically um they scrape the, the your cheeks and stuff so the wax prevents it from scraping your cheeks and things like that i forgot what else it was used for because i haven't used it in so long but yeah and the last thing i have in here is some flushable toddler wipes this is 32 in a pack i got this from dollar tree as well and these smell really good they're just like regular wipes i don't like using tissue for my body i rather use wipes because i feel like it's it makes like it cleans me up better i feel like tissue is like very dry and i just don't especially school tissue it sucks it sucks and i do not like it so i rather use wipes and yeah and this has vitamin e in it and you know vitamin e is good it's a vitamin and yeah it leaves you having a fresh smell down there it's not like it's smelling bad or anything because i feel like with tissue you really can't get the job done but with this like it's basically like you're really like wiping yourself thoroughly and like properly and like it's kind of like just like i said like a clean feeling after you do that i would also suggest putting a um a um what's it called a perfume in here like a small perfume i do not have one of those yet but i definitely would put one in here so definitely get a small perfume um other things that may like be to your hair type like edge control but i don't really know like i like wearing braids and i like doing um i don't wear wigs or anything like that like people i've seen one girl put a wig brush in but i don't wear wigs like that so you know just all depending on what you do and what you like to put in there or like what you but like whatever caters to you you put in there but this is just what i put in mine and this is what i suggest that most of you guys can like get a basic idea of it like what you guys would need so i just want to thank you guys so much for watching the video and like i said i'll try to leave oh i didn't say this before, i didn't say this before but um i want to try to leave like all the links to the products down below like i always do in my videos so Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. I hope you have a great hope you have a great day, evening, or night, or time zone, whatever, 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 whatever. Go on with the gist. Goodbye. You know how we do it.